welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler. Today, we got a cool kit. Round 2 model sent us over. The 64 Malibu. It's a Craftsman Plus. Come on in. Let's take a look. The Autistic Modeler is proud to be partnered with Round 2 Models, the makers of great kits from AMT, MPC, and Polar Lights. Get yours All today. Right, let's take a look at that box. Well, that's a really sharp looking maroon one. I like the artwork. 64 Chevelle Malibu SS. And this is a Craftsman Plus, meaning that it's more like a curbside, but your hood opens and it has a hole for the engine, but does not include an engine. So you can pick an engine of your choice out of your stash or from another kit. And then uh, you can see the postal service wasn't friendly with my box, but uh, you got two wheel options. You got white wall tires, you got chrome rear view mirrors, engine plate like we mentioned and then uh here is the bottom so you can see what's going on there pretty cool another shot over there all new tooling uh from what i understand this was uh like re-engineered from the original tooling and made better so uh this is gonna be pretty exciting but let's take a look at it well here's that body right there it looks really good nice and crisp I mean, this is nice. Nice and straight. I don't see any problems with it. Hole for the mirror mounting. That's pretty cool. Very nice looking. There's an emblem there. V8, I'm assuming. Very nice. And there's a chassis. It's molded in, but don't let that discourage you. You can detail this up and make it look really sharp. If you watch my other videos I've done... I've done a lot of the older model kits, and you can make it up and detail it very nice. And then there's our our uh, slot for that engine plate. Now, the station wagon 65 Chevelle will, engine will probably drop right in there. So that might be a good option for you if you want an engine. Looks pretty good. And then there's our interior bucket. Rear seat molded in. Very nice prominent detail on there. Door panels, pretty basic. Nice looking. Then the uh, dashboard looks really good. Like that. And then our firewalls detailed. So they include our firewall so you can put your engine in later. And then there's our hood, our front seats. Uh, and I think this is the radiator sport right there, our steering wheel. And I noticed with the steering wheel, and this extra steering wheel in the box, sealed in its own bag, which is a direct of this part of it. So I, I don't know what was going on there, why it has two steering wheels. They are identical. You know, so there's our engine plate. Uh, there's our pieces for the rear um, suspension to put it, the wheels on. And then here's our wheel box. Pretty basic stuff there. And then here's our glass, really nice glass. Headlights, and then the turn signal lenses and whatnot. So it's sharp, it's a sharp looking uh, glass piece there. And there's our axle rod, get one of them. And then here's the tires. Tires are pad printed white walls. There's no brand name, they do look like a Firestone Supreme. But no brand name on them. They're good looking. You get four of them. Right there. There's our red tail lights. Look sharp. And then here's our chrome pieces. Now you got two selections. You got your like SS style wheel covers. Or you got the like uh, wire wheels is what I'm trying to say. With some spinners on them. You got shifters and console. Nice looking grill. That's a good looking grill. And then our uh, rear trim for the trunk and tail lights. Front and rear bumpers. Side view mirror. Looks good. And then here's our decal sheet. I'll take it out of plastic. That looks really good. A lot of emblems there and instrument gauges, name plates, you know, badges, license plates. It's good looking. Nice stuff. And then here's our book. Not much to it, you know, because this is a craftsman. It's more like an, a basic kit.
kit. You know, nothing to this, you know, but it's good for a beginner or just like a quick slump buster, you know? Something that, you know, get it done and make it look really sharp for a good shelf model. Nothing wrong with that. So uh, we'll go ahead and choose our color and Google eyes some other ones to get some ideas and then I'll be right back and get started.
Well, all right, it's that time again. That's right, final assembly. Let's take a look at this. Well, first, let's look at that Malibu Chevelle body. That looks really good. I like that. It's almost like an ice blue, I think, is how it turned out. Looks really good. That looks really sharp. I like it. And then here's our grill. That turned out really well. Those separate headlights. Our glass here. And there's our taillight panel with those separate lenses. That turned out really well. I like the way that looks. And then here's our interior. The gauges and the detailing of the side uh, uh, handles there. I think that looks really good. Console looks really well. And I decided to go with the uh, wire wheel hubcaps. I really like them. I think that's going to look sharp with those white walls on there. And then our chassis. Show that. Just some quick detailing on the chassis. Can make those molded in type pieces look really well. It looks really good. I think that's going to look sharp on there. And then there's our engine plate. I'm not going to glue the engine plate in. I'm just going to put it on along with the hood. Because I think I'm going to find a uh, 327 out of the 65 Chevelle station wagon or El Camino. I think that will go in there pretty well. We'll do that later at another time. And then uh, and here's the rest of the emblems and things for the trunk lid and and uh some other emblems for the eight cylinder engines and things all right when we come back it'll be all finished stick with me well here it is all finished the 1964 malibu chevelle ss by amt this was a cool kit i really enjoyed putting it together it went together phenomenal i had no problems with final assembly had these decals here for the emblems. The rear was a perfect fit. The front was a little bit small, but you couldn't tell too much. Had the rear one and then that emblem there. I really like the separate taillight lenses. They gave you extras in case you drop it and have the carpet monster eat it. I really like the wire wheel hubcaps with this particular color. I think it sets it off and makes it look really classy. You get this style or you get that style that's shown on the box. And then our interior with the decal gauges, separate console, and separate buckets. I really liked how that turned out. It turned out really well. And then there's our uh, engine plate. and We painted that up. And it looked really good. It snapped right in with no glue. I didn't glue my hood in or the engine plate because I'm going to source an engine out of the 65 Chevelle wagon or El Camino. I think that would drop right in there with almost no modifications. And that front end, everything snapped on. The glass snaps right in with no glue. I really thought that was slick. That way it's a nice clean finish. Because there's some novice builders out there that make it glue on the windows. And they just not maybe uh, as proficient installing glass. And that's a, a big help for the younger builders or someone who's just starting to get into the hobby. And this is a great slump buster for us professionals that just kind of want to just have a nice, clean, quick build. And it turns out so nice. I really enjoyed this. I hope AMT comes out with a full kit with this, which I believe they are eventually. It'd be simple enough to do and uh, have a couple more versions of this. I really like the way they're doing these Craftsman series. New tooling, but the old style like we grew up building. And the fit and finish is phenomenal. So, again... I highly recommend this, and I do thank Round 2 for sending it over for a full build and review. And until next time, I'm the Autistic Modeler. Happy Modeling.